another episode of AutoCraft. My name is Zame, and it has been a while since the last video came out. And because I have been gone from vacation. So, because of that, I think we should check out the shopping district before we get into it. As you all know, we definitely need to check out Zmart, because hopefully we made big, big bucks. Big bucks. Let's see what we got. Um, huh. Don't know what happened there, but we made ten diamonds. I'll have to come back and figure out what happened. Time to check the villager trading shop. Alright, we got some potatoes. Some carrots. Nothing. Alright. We got some new people, so they might have come to the dye shop. Well, we got 19 diamonds from the dye shop, so that's pretty good. Always gotta check the slime shop. I, ooh, sale. Ooh. New members are buying some slime. Nice. And I believe, last but not least, is the Boom Boom Balloon Shop. A couple sales. Alright, 17 diamonds. We'll split that with Alex. Alright, I think that's all of the shops, I believe. And we will need to split these 46 diamonds up with the members of Fabageg, so I will go do that right now. So the diamonds we had waiting in the Fabageg meeting room gave us a total of nine diamond blocks. Wow. I have been missing a few diamonds apparently down there. So that's always good. So we got nine diamond blocks and six diamonds. Um, so now let's head over to the base. So my base looks pretty good facing this way. You know, we got the two mountains, we got the nice bridge, and then we got the harbor over here with two boats. Uh, we got the mine entrances. I haven't done that one yet, but we'll, we'll do that eventually. But we look this way down there. It looks pretty bad. So, we need to do something about that. that you guys just saw. The mountain is done. Uh, I added a little trim basically around the mountain there and I think it looks good. It, I'm trying to, I tried to blend it in with the surrounding so it's not just like a, uh, a lump of stone placed in. It, you know, kind of blends in with the grass a little bit. So I think that works pretty well. Uh, and now I kind of want to, I need to terraform this area. I really do, especially this. This looks awful. But this whole flatland needs to be, how do I say, dealt with. And the way I would like to do this is in these, these, these here shulker boxes. And I think with all of these materials, got a quick glimpse there. I can transform this, at least the entrance flat area, into better looking entrance flat area, I guess. And the first thing we need to do before we do anything here is fix this. Uh, that, that's fine, it's part of the mountain, but this little dirt hill needs to be fixed. And after a little bit of time, I have completely finished the pathway. Minus the decorations and uh, other assorted stuff. 
I but I have gone ahead and just added some depth into the landscape with these dirt mounds. And I think it adds direction to the path rather than you know just you're just walking straight up. It adds the direction of this pathway, which I think adds more detail to it. And the pathway blocks I have used are coarse dirt, gravel, path blocks, and grass blocks. And I think it creates a nice, rustic, worn down feel to the whole landscape around it. And yeah, I like it a lot. And what I want to do now is decorate this area a little bit because even though it looks better than before, it's still not quite there yet. And with a little bit of work here, we have added some nice landscaping to it. So first off, obviously I just want to bone meal the round a little bit. Got some of the tall weeds in. And then I went around and placed bamboo with the uh, string on top to stop them from growing. And I let them grow at different heights, you know, a couple of them. And then I also added some fences here for direction for the person who's coming to visit. Um, and it just adds a little bit of direction to the pathway. And I went, ar I went around and lit it up, at least the pathway part, mostly, with some sea lantern covered by a uh, uh, green carpet. And I didn't know it just goes all the way around. And I think it looks pretty good at the moment. But it's missing one thing. And that one thing is trees. There need to be some trees down there, but I can't just use any tree. I can't just randomly, I can't just use tree saplings because of the trees I used on the actual mountain. Um, it, they need to match. They, they almost have to match. Otherwise it'll look really, really weird. So we need to put a couple of these trees down there. Ooh, and we have a visitor. I wanted to put one more, but I ran out of leaves, and I really don't want to get leaves right now, so I might add that in later. Um, but the five trees definitely add more ambiance to the place. It definitely makes it better. It definitely ties the whole area in, and I think it looks really good now with these trees here. Um, I am thinking of adding some water feature, like somewhere like right here that goes into this. Uh, but that might be for later because what I want to do now is actually head back to the shopping district. And the reason why I want to come back to the shopping district is because I feel like the wood shulker boxes in Zmart need to be bigger than just one stack, you know? Because I, I feel, for me, it's not the big deal because I I own the tree farm. Um, but for customers, that might be annoying if you need more than nine stacks, you have to wait. So I'm thinking of increasing the amount to three to five stacks. I don't know exactly what I would like at the moment, um, but Depending on what I want, I need to change the amount of <laughs> one delay in that and the amount of items are in here to make sure we have our five or four stacks. So I'm going to head into the, my creative testing world and I will be right back. All right. So I have completed the updating process of all of the wood prices. So I've changed them from two to one diamonds a stack. And then I also increased the number of items you get in a shulker box. So you, instead of getting one stack, you now get three. So you get a little bit more um, per shulker box, which makes it, I think, a little bit easier. Then, so now instead of getting nine stacks, you get 
27 stacks, a full shulker box. If you do um, all, if you do all nine before having to wait, that is. So I'd say that's pretty good. Um, I, the only thing I have to do is get prismarine bricks. So that's not big a deal. And yeah, so it it took a little bit of time, but not too much. And with that, I think that will conclude today's episode. It's been a little while since my last episode came out. That's due to vacation and stuff like that. And not all the holiday festivities. Um, so it's a good thing we got this out. And next episode, we have a request for some materials from Splashes. But I won't say what they are yet. But with that, I hope you guys have a good day. Stay healthy, stay happy, and see you guys next time.